Okay, well, we were hoping to bring in that report. I do apologise. Turkish police are on the streets of Ankara overnight, trying to disperse protesters. Earlier, the governing AK party says it's prepared to hold a referendum in Istanbul over plans to redevelop Gezi Park, the issue that sparked nationwide anti-government demonstrations. A 24-hour general strike has begun in Greece, a protest at the government's surprise move to shut down the state broadcaster ERT. Nearly 3,000 people will lose their jobs. The government said it was a cost-cutting move. Edward Snowden, a former CIA... Edward Snowden, a former CIA employee, has claimed that the US government had been hacking into computers in Hong Kong. More on both those stories and much more else besides in about uh, 50 minutes' time when I'm back with World Business Report. Actually, before that, though, we're going to have a quick look at the market. Sorry to catch up with you there. And here we go. This is the picture. It's and the time is 18 minutes past six. Coming up on tonight's programme. Marathon mum, a first outing for Kate since the birth of Prince George as she officially starts a round the island race on Anglesey. It was the maternity unit at the centre of an NHS scandal. There were claims of fatally... That's thanks to a reduction in household spending as a result of high personal debt levels. Well, as you can see, it looks like John is ready. John Longworth is the Director General of the British Chambers of Commerce. Hello and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. Goodness me, what is happening there? <laughs> This is BBC World News, the latest headlines. I'm Geetha Gurumuthi. Tests, sorry about that, we're having a few technology problems in our new studios. Do you bear with us? Uh, he's a columnist for the Evening Standard newspaper and this afternoon he has spoken uh, to the newspaper and given his account of this episode and he said that he admits that the couple had a row. Hello, welcome to BBC World News. I'm Martine Dennis. And I'm Sally Bundock. Here are the headlines. Good morning and welcome to BBC News. Plans for privately run drunk tanks to tackle alcohol fuel disorder have been...